in the previous videos we had learned about the intervals uh, in real numbers subset as intervals in a real numbers and now we, we just have to uh, solve these questions based on those concept we had learned one closed intervals like this in which we were taking uh, both like like uh, these are the two points suppose point uh, these are point a and point b and this is a real number line right? this is a real number line if you are taking this part also and this part also then that's closed interval all right uh, so how I'll write here now a and b I'll write this is closed interval all right closed interval and another one we had learned open interval open interval we had learned something like this uh, if I have a real number line this is my real number line suppose and this is point A and this is point B and open interval we generate write like this A and B so while writing this what you have to imagine that you are not going to take this A exactly you're just not taking A and all the elements greater than A you are taking similarly you're not taking B and all the elements smaller than A you are taking alright I'm going to say you're not taking A and all elements rest of this, this side alright uh, all the bigger than A and all the smaller than B you're taking, right? And another one we have, we have learned open, semi open interval, right? Semi open interval. So, what is that? Means from one side it is open. Semi means half open, half closed, all right? Half open, half closed. In such situation, what we do? We, we don't take one part, like so if this is A and if this is B, then what we'll be doing? we are not going to take this A part because A is open alright and we're going to take B because B is closed if there is big bracket then what you have to understand that we're going to take that and now another one you had learned uh, semi closed semi closed interval in semi closed interval what we have learned from the name itself is semi closed means half closed half is closed and half is open alright and if this is my number line this is suppose point A and this is point B then uh, what I have to do one means I need to take A but I'm not going to take this B right and all the elements uh, which are uh, smaller than B I'm going to take all the elements smaller than B I'll take but just B I'll not take right so I'll write like A and B uh, this were the four types of the uh, closed intervals open intervals and semi open and semi closed uh, intervals and now based on these concepts uh, I have already discussed these things, but one more time I just repeated you if you have lost, uh, if you have uh, not uh, learned that video. So now first question, what the first question is saying? X of that X is from real numbers, okay, and minus 4 and um, uh, this X is actually greater than minus 4 but less than or equals to 6. Less than or equals to 6 means this is closed interval and just is greater than it means open interval. So what is that? minus 4 open and from 6 if you go that is closed and in the second one what is that uh, x belongs from real numbers and x is actually uh, greater than minus 12 means open from this side also means it's not equals to 12 we're not going to take the 12 similarly is smaller than minus 10 again all the number less than minus 10 is possible but minus 10 is not possible all right they are taking word like B is not possible, A is not possible, but all the elements between these two are possible. So from that side also open. So it's completely open. So minus 12 and 10. From both sides it is open. And the third one is X. So that X is for, belongs from real numbers. And here X is equals to and greater than 0. Means closed bracket. Alright. This is closed interval. And is smaller uh, than 7 is smaller than 7 but not equals to 7 means yes like this you can take this a but you cannot take b just smaller than b you can take all right so it is 0 and 7 from 7 it is open all right this is open and now what what they are saying uh, x uh, is greater than or equals to 3 means you are taking 3 also and x is smaller than or equals to 4 so we are taking both so it's a closed bracket so in fourth case our answer is 3 4 and we're going to put the closed bracket here all right i hope you understand this how to write the intervals uh, it's just a very simple you know if there is equals to also like uh, like 
first time till you want the one. Suppose if it's just greater than or smaller than they are saying, right? Then that time you just imagine you need to give the curly uh, like small brackets, all right? And uh, if they are giving like equals to or greater than or uh, uh, like smaller than or equals to like that, then that time you need to give the big bracket means that's closed if there is equals to sign also if there is if there is simple uh, greater than or equals to then you just have to give the smaller smaller bracket but if there is greater than sign also this underline also here then you have to think that that is closed interval all right i hope you understand this uh, question and you can do similar type of lot of problem if there is any problem while understanding the concept of this uh, question then please feel free to comment just below this video uh, I'll be very happy. I'll appreciate that. All right. Catch you in the next video. Goodbye.